Welcome to Mindfully Get Your Shit Together, where life is never in balance, but we create more of a moment-to-moment equilibrium. I don't believe in 24-7 life in balance. There's, so, there's no such a thing. Um, and we should just seek for moment-to-moment equilibrium. The show today is escaping, how to escape your mental prison, how to escape your mental prison. Pretty uh, good subject. So Noah Collins, you're here again. Thank you for helping me with technology because I'd be lost without you. Thank you so much. And uh, folks, at the end of the show, uh, please let us know what you think, participate, um, leave comments, start the discussion, because this is a topic that uh, um, hits people across the board. I don't, I don't know of one person who is not uh, in, a, in a mental, who didn't lock themselves uh, uh, in a mental prison, or at one point were locked in a mental prison. Good for them if they escape that prison. So today we uh, are going to learn how to just uh, get out of it in a more mind- mindful way. So before doing that, I will, I'm going to read you something from my book, uh, Recharge, The Executive Guide to Inner Fitness. Not available uh, for sale yet. This is for uh, exclusive clients, executive clients that are working with me at retreats and um, on-site program, uh, corporate programs. So, uh, but it will be on sale, and I will let you know when that is. All right. So, uh, for folks that are thinking about the one-minute. Uh, breathing exercise we no longer are doing that simply because uh, there was liability liability questions some of the folks out there thought that they could uh, be safe by driving and doing some deep uh, breathing exercises ignoring the the danger that uh, that could uh, have to themselves and to other people so we stopped doing that Uh, but I will ask you to take a deep breath Exhale, just get back into the moment and enjoy the show. All right, so let's go to getting out of your mental prison. I love these uh, these little quotes that are in the book. Your thoughts are not you. Don't let them control your life. Opening up your mental prison. If you feel anxious and don't know why, take the time to focus on something good, something or someone that makes you feel hopeful. Being optimistic or passionate about something good in your life can help ease anxiety. Sharing your perceived fears and opening up to someone you trust can help you unravel your false fears. When people show their deepest thoughts and feelings about stressful or traumatic experiences, Negative emotions such as depression and anxiety lessen and ev- eventually disappear. Those who open up are like, less likely to become depressed and are less susceptible to the harmful effects of stress. That's because they can face their fears at their own pace, in small doses and with someone they trust. Numerous studies show that people who report a greater reliance on spiritual beliefs and who are also involved in healthy social interaction during times of stress have an emotional, mental, and physical health advantage over those who do not. That says it all. So, what does it mean to uh, be locked in a mental prison? I am sure that most of you who are watching and listening to this podcast um, know exactly what I'm talking about. It means that we are following our thoughts. We get involved emotionally with with every single thought. Uh, We are reacting instead of being proactive or responding uh, positively. We let the outside world disrupt our inner peace. We let the outside world disrupt 
our inner peace. We let people, things, everything that is outside of us disrupt our peace. We wake up in the morning, we know what to do, we meditate, we, 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 we eat well, we think well, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, something comes and disrupts your peace. It could be you read something on the newspaper, you, 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 you got bombarded on your phone by the, the media, your social media uh, likes or dislikes. Uh, all of these outside things are taking control of our lives. I get that too. Uh, the difference is that some of us are more conscious and more aware, and that's the key to escaping the mental prison. Escaping your mental prison is to be aware first that you are in one, that you created one. The irony of things that is there is there are no walls. There are no walls. You are actually free, but you are locked in a mental loop, a mental negative thinking loop. And so, do you, what do you do when you are locked or feel uh, locked in that prison? Um, some of you suffer from anxiety, like I do, and uh, some of you uh, may be depressed or felt depression at one point in your lives maybe more than once. So I am not a psychologist, nor uh, do I pretend to be one. I am a wellness coach, and that enables me to work with my people, with my client, by finding out where they are now and finding out where they want to go, creating a plan, holding their hands and walking them to their goals. That's what I do. And I deal more often with the fitness of life, not the fitness of the body, because when I work with clients and when it starts, most of the time it starts by, okay, uh, I need to lose some weight, I need to feel better, I need to eat better, I need to exercise. You know, it's about fitness and wellness. But the fitness of life is what really make, um, makes sense. And let me explain to you why. In my three decades in the fitness field, I've seen many, many people uh, that looked fantastic. They were in shape, they're, they're fit, uh, but they're miserable. So why? Why, why do you feel miserable when you look fantastic? Well, looking and, uh, uh, fit and feeling fit are two different things, okay? So being fit from the body um, is not, not really a long-lasting um, solution to uh, dealing with our inner conflicts and solving our inner conflict. But the fitness of life is, and let me explain to you what the fitness of life is. Well, fitness of life <clears throat> to me, and this is what I've been teaching, is when we manage to have our emotional, mental, physical and spiritual reservoirs, human energy reservoirs filled. You don't have to them get them filled to the top, but you have them at a baseline where it is safe, where you feel balanced. If one of them is depleted, it's just a matter of time before you start kicking in to the second, the third, the fourth, and then you reach inner conflict. So in order to escape this prison in your mind, 
is to start acknowledging that there are things that you need to be taken care of. How do you fix something if you don't know it exists? You must acknowledge and be aware that there are issues or uh, challenges in your life that need to be uh, solved. I always say hell and heaven are not somewhere else. They're here, right now. Where do you where do you want to be? Do you want to be in heaven most of the time? Or do you want to be in hell most of the time? When you are in that mental prison, mental, mental negative loop, um, you are locked in, in, in what I called a, a place where darkness is taking control of your life. You're in hell. So, and, and, and you may know people around you, you know, other than yourself, that are just like that. They, they put themselves in that, um, in that mindset for hours and then get out and, and get into that place of heaven for 10 seconds, for one minute, two minutes. And then they got their fix, they go back right and jump in that ocean of um, hell. How about being in heaven for three, four, five, six hours of the time and then get a minute or two of hell so you can enjoy heaven better? What I'm saying is there is no when we, when we, and this is, I think, this is the, the what, uh, what puts us in that predicament, in that prison, is that we, um, we are taught to uh, have high expectations. Okay, just chase happiness. How do you chase something that is not chaseable? How do you chase happiness? How do you? Seek happiness. There is nothing to seek because happiness is a state of being. It is you. It's like facing the mirror and saying to yourself, okay, now I'm going to try to get a nose. But your nose is, is attached to your face already. The minute you look for your nose, it's the minute you think that your nose is not there, but it is there. It's weird analogy, but it's powerful analogy. The minute you seek happiness, that's where happiness eludes you. You disconnect from it. So, understanding that we are already happy. There's no need to seek happiness. There is no need to seek life in balance because life in balance, sorry, doesn't exist. For somebody who spent a decade uh, as a wellness and fitness director at Miraval, which is all about life and balance, saying that claiming that is pretty uh, bold, but it's true. There is no life and balance 24 7. There is moment to moment equilibrium. We can only seek to make it better. When we have a challenge, we face it, we make it better. Okay? When we have somebody who is nagging at us, at us, fighting us, what we do, we back off. And, and, and or back out and remove ourselves from the problem, okay? Fighting, being in competition with loved ones, um, or the people you love, your wife, your husband, your kids, your friends, is not healthy. And that, all of these things create this, these invisible bars, walls that lock you in that prison. So, folks, if you really want to escape that prison, start balancing your life, mind, body, and spirit, or mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual, and know that at one point or another, you can get off balance, and that's normal. It's natural. You should expect that then seek moment-to-moment -moment equilibrium by fixing 
things by acknowledging that you have a problem, not running away from it, by acknowledging that there's a certain situation that needs to be taken care of proactively, not reactively, and, 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 and start refueling your reservoirs. That is how you get out or you escape from your mental um, prison. So I'm going to read you uh, something from my best author, Anthony DeMello, one of my favorite authors. Happiness is a butterfly, said the master. Chase it and it, it, it eludes you. Sit down quietly and it alights upon your shoulder. So what do I do to get happiness? Stop pursuing it. But is there nothing I can do? You might try sitting down quietly if you dare. That concludes our show. And please, if you have any comments, let's start a discussion. Uh, you can find me anywhere on social media. Just type Nordin Zwareg. Um, also, please uh, visit my websites, Arizona Wellness Retreats and uh, executiveinnerfitness.com. There's pretty much uh, uh, everything you need uh, to back up what I teach. Um, so, until next time, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and be safe.